Melody Brooke today. So um, in honor of Veterans Day, I thought it might be nice to talk about what the meaning of service is. And while I am not a veteran, um, I have friends who are veterans and I am honestly in awe of those people who were willing to lay down their life for our country. And um, it's something that brings me to tears when I think about because I don't think I'd have the courage to do it. And I know um, so many people do. And I think it's something that we, we sort of take for granted a lot of the time. So today is one of those days when we really um, step up and think about what it means to serve, what it means to serve our country, what it means to serve our fellow man, and what it means to sacrifice our lives, our limbs, our mental health, um, our relationships, our lifestyles, our, um, our whole plans for our future get um, laid aside in order to uh, be of service to our nation. and. I, I'm not even sure that our government always completely values that. Certainly when we see what happens in the Veterans Administration and how difficult it is for veterans to get their needs met and how often um, veterans who have post-traumatic stress, who have TBIs, who have um, mental health issues that result directly from their service and we don't step up as a nation and take care of them the way that we should. Um, it, it breaks my heart because I, these are people who have, have willingly um, stepped on the line and, and put their life and limb at, at risk for our well-being. Now, I, I don't know that all of the, the times when they're called to act are necessarily things that I would support, but, um, but I can say that um, it, it, you know, the, the, the amazing thing about people of, who do join the military service, they don't question. They just do what their commander in chief tells them to do. And while that is um, beyond what I can even imagine, I, I am so grateful uh, that there are people, hi Don, and I'm not, I have my glasses on so I can't see who all is here with me today. Lucretia, hi, Bradford, um, Luke Paul, uh, thank you so much for being on. Um, so, so if any of you are veterans, I would love to have you step up. If you're willing to come on, um, I'll put you on um, to talk about what it was like for you for your service. Hi, Billy Joe. But I want to I want to talk about um, service in general and what it what it requires of people. Um, it, it is a difficult thing to do, um, and I don't, I'm not even necessarily talking about um, military service, which is um, really the the top um, thing for today. But the service in general means the willingness to set aside your one's own needs, one own, one's own desires, one's own um, self ego um, service in the service of another. And I personally have experienced that from a few people from time to time in my life, not often, but when I have experienced it, um, it has been some of the most touching experiences of my life. Um, I had a, uh, a daughter um, who was three and I was just going through a divorce and um, a, a dear friend of mine offered to let me stay at her house while I saved up my money so that I could get an apartment. And so I was staying in her house and while I was there, um, hey, is it uh, John? Thank you, but thank you all for being present today. And what she did was she did a very simple thing. She offered just to give me a manicure and she wasn't a manicurist, she was just a friend. And, but it was, um, a gift of love and a gift of service that re really made me feel cared for and it was something that I will never forget and um, as much as I um, can look back over my life and be angry and hurt and worried about the things that might may have happened and uh, feel betrayed and angry about some of the things in my life the things that really last, the things that really make a difference are those times when I've had opportunities for someone to um, be of service to me in that way. I also have had um, recently a friend who, um, when I was not feeling well, 
spent the entire day just um, making sure that I had my needs met. Uh, was quiet and sat by me and made sure that I had um, snacks and made sure that I had food to eat and water to drink and that I would that I had hot teas just made me feel like I mattered at a time when I really needed someone to do that and that is what service is right that is when you when you just spend your time when you make the choice to really truly be there for someone else and um, I, I haven't you know and I know we do that as moms right we do that for our children all the time so um, I, I'm not sure that, and dads, I'm not wanting to set dads aside there and, and, and by any means because I am, um, I am so amazed and, and um, respecting of fathers today, the young fathers today who are so different than, than the fathers of my time of um, when my children were growing up and the, certainly when I was growing up. Um, and to see the level of service that, that parents can provide for their children. And when I see, especially, I'm gonna shout out to my daughter, Athena Troy, who is a mom of a special needs child, and the amount of service that is required for her every day of her life that she devotes to serving the needs of this child. Um, and it comes, of course, out of pure love. Um, hi, Michael. Um, and so, so what does it take to, to be able to provide that kind of service? Well, in my mind, I think it does require love. And coming back, to, circling back to veterans, I think that love of country and love of our constitution, love of the American dream is, is largely what, what drives people to do that and to be able to make the choice to put themselves on the line. It has to come out of love. And the same is true um, with my daughter and her amazing um, husband, both of whom provide the service of caring for my um, special needs daughter or granddaughter every day of her life. And it's something that they will have to do um, probably all of her life to some degree. Um, there is a potential of her becoming a, a certain amount of self-independence, but, but she's going to continue to require um, care. And to be able to devote yourself to that kind of service for, to another person, even um, short term, again, is a loving gesture. And so when we start to get in a place where we start to wonder, and I know a lot of us that are going through um, divorces and deaths and um, other kinds of material and financial losses, we tend to, you know, sometimes feel sort of, hi Corey, um, feel dismayed and get stuck in a lot of grief and a lot of uh, pain, and I'm not discounting that, but, but I am saying that it is important in order to maintain balance for ourselves and for the people around us and, to, and for our own mental health, to be able to, to, to recognize where we are being served, where we have people in our life who are providing for us, who are loving us in those ways, who are providing service for us. And then additionally, to check out where we can be of service to other people and find out, look and see, you know, what is it that we can do? Where is our heart taking us to provide love and service in some way? One of the things that I'm, I'm doing right now is I've, uh, for the last three years, I've been on the board of an organization called Fellowship Power Lunch, and it has um, been a calling of my friend Lisa Kay, and she has chosen, she's been called herself, she felt, um, felt like God asked her to begin this fellowship luncheon, which every month for the last um, three years, or three and a half years, um, going on four years, um, has provided the, our community with speakers and um, inspiration on a monthly basis. At um, Currently, it's, being, it's at the Crest Infinity in Frisco. And this coming month, our, uh, our luncheon is a veterans appreciation luncheon and if you haven't seen my posts on it please um, look at those because this is an opportunity for us all to be of service to veterans who have 
given us so much, who have been willing to risk so much for love of country and love of us. So we are loving on them back. We're providing back the love uh, that they, they gave to us. In some very small um, way, we are providing this day of honoring the veterans that are in the Dallas-Fort Worth area with a day where we are providing them with a free lunch and all kinds of goodies to take home with them. We're gonna have a gift bag that has all kinds of valuable things in it that will hopefully make their lives a little better to show them some appreciation for the service that they have given us. And um, if there's any way, and, I, and this isn't really the purpose of this um, video today, but since I'm talking about this, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about it, which is that um, if there are opportunities, if you would like to sponsor, or if you would like to sponsor a veteran to be there, or if you would like to attend, um, I will post the, the flyer, um, the information about the event at, in the comments here after I post the video, but, but there's an opportunity to serve. There's an opportunity to serve in a very small way. Um, for $50, you can sponsor a veteran to attend or you yourself can attend. Or if you have another level of, of sponsorship that you are capable, we still have some larger sponsorships available. If you would like to be a part of the Veterans Appreciation Luncheon on um, next Tuesday, uh, the 19th at 11 a.m. And I hope that you can be there. I hope that you can join me because it's going to be a tremendously powerful day. And I'm, and I'm thrilled that I had the opportunity to be of service back in this way because one of the things I do, and I know a lot of us do, which is we, we sort of have a tendency to focus on ourselves, right? We focus on getting through the day, what it's gonna take for us to take care of our house, our cars, our jobs, our, our family, and you know even ourselves, the amount of time it takes to do self-care when you are a person of, of, aware of the need for self-care. We spend a lot of time focused on our needs, and um, I, I think it's, um, it's a wonderful opportunity. This is um, the only nonprofit I've ever been on the board of, and it's been a tremendous opportunity to serve and to help other people find some connection, especially through this veterans event has really touched me um, that, I can, that I can do something that um, seems to matter. And so when we are um, going through our, our, our days, maybe you can just pay attention to how you could serve one person today in some, some way. It doesn't have to be a big way. I, I love those, um, those, those sweet stories that I often see posted where somebody um, buys a lunch for someone um, at the, the McDonald's or at the Starbucks or whatever it is, gets purchases as, as a gift. That's a kind of service, right? That's saying this, this person behind me is a valuable person and, and it's, it's um, an opportunity to serve them in some way. And finding ways to serve as a, um, as a person when you are you know, down on your luck, when you're struggling yourself, maybe things are not going great for you, it's a way of stepping out of yourself for a minute and allowing yourself to see your own um, gifts, the, the, the value and gifts that are available to you in your life. And I think a lot of times we don't um, take the time to slow down and notice exactly what gifts we have, you know? And one of the things that I have been trying to, to be more conscious of is to be more conscious of noticing the, the very fact that I'm alive and being grateful for that. And, and of course, then that brings me back to all the people who are not here today who made that choice to serve our country. That's a Memorial Day event, but still, people who chose to um, love th their country enough to lay down their life for them. So, so when we take the time to slow down and, and value the, the gift of life itself, that the ability to breathe, the ability to um, enjoy I don't know, eating a piece of fruit, um, s smelling the air, the, the rain, um, even feeling the cool breeze on your skin. And today, and we're gonna feel a lot of that today with our temperature in Dallas, Texas dropping down um, into the 30s today. But, but finding the time to really allow yourself to be in the moment. And then when we can do that and then step out of ourselves a little bit and look around and notice other people and see where a need might be that you could fulfill. See if there isn't someone around you who might need something small. You know, even just noticing um, 
someone looking for a tissue, for example, or someone who's got a headache and you reach in your purse and say, would you like an ibuprofen? Um, to, to just be conscious of, of finding ways to serve other people. And I'm not suggesting that you also don't serve yourself because what, I, what I'm most aware of is every day in my practice is how few of us actually take the time to take care of our, to, ser to, take, to serve ourselves, to take care of ourselves. You know, that, um, th that story about when you're on the airplane and what the stewardess is, steward, the, the um, let, me, let me take that back, the flight attendants say is when the, the oxygen um, bag drops down that you have to put it on yourself first and then help the people around you. So this is the same thing. You have to, to serve yourself, take care of yourself, make sure that you are okay. Because if you're trying to, to serve others from a place of emptiness yourself, when you are not filled up, when you are not taken care of, when you are um, operating on not enough sleep, if you are operating on a place from um, social, um, emotional, physical deficit, then you're not going to be able to be of service to others um, in the way that you could, could and should. But also, um, so you take care of yourself and then you make sure that you are appreciating and valuing what is in your life so that you can come from a place of gratitude. And when you come from a place of gratitude, it's easier to reach out and to serve others. So I'm thinking again about veterans, which is to come back to the gratitude that I feel for having a country that has been protected um, by our military service for so many years um, and that we have people who are courageous enough and strong enough and brave enough and um, self-sacrificing enough to be willing to serve us in that way. And while it's not something I personally could do, I. It's just like, you know, how I feel about guns, I guess, which is um, I don't really want one, but I'm very grateful that we have the opportunity to have them and that there are people in this world, in this country, who have them to, um, because I do think it's important for us to, to have that freedom. And, and I really value um, the, the fact that there are people who can and, and will step up and do those things. And that is why I'm so excited about the opportunity on Tuesday at 11 o'clock at the Crest Infinity in, um, in Frisco to honor our veterans in an in a all out way. We have Elizabeth McCormick coming. It's so funny, I did not really intend to use this as a promo for, for that event, but the more I talk about veterans, the more I talk about that event, because that event is, an, is a really amazing opportunity to truly celebrate the people in the Dallas-Fort Worth area who have um, served our country. So if you at all feel any um, gratitude or desire to provide some service back to those people who have served us in so many ways, this is an awesome opportunity to um, spend $50 or um, any amount that you would be willing to, to sponsor our event, if, or even if you have something you would like to donate to our gift bags or donate to our silent auction, that would be great too. Any way that you can participate, and no matter how small, we would love to have you be a part of it. And the more people are a part of it, the more veterans we will be able to serve and provide an opportunity to um, fully experience the honor that we want to provide for them on Tuesday. So, um, so coming back to service in our own lives, um, what are some ways, and anybody um, wants to jump on board here to suggest some things, um, I'd love to hear your ideas about service. Somebody had said something. Oh, hi, Alan, thank you, that's very sweet. Um, so, in a service, service for other people, um, is noticing when um, like someone is not feeling well and asking them if there's anything you can do for them. Noticing when people look sad, ask them if there's something that, um, that would help them in that moment. Um, just sometimes, you know, offering people hugs is such a huge thing that can provide them with a sense of connection and feeling like they matter. And, or even just a smile for somebody who looks like they're hurting. These are ways in which we can use our spirit to um, 
provide a, a service for someone else just by being in the presence of someone. I had a, a sweet friend come over last night and um, he was trying to help me with um, replacing a tail out of my car, which didn't work by the way, because I've got to find a little body shop because it, it, it actually got dented. I'm gonna have to find a body shop to do it at. But anyway, he spent the, um, the, the, we spent a couple of hours just sitting down visiting afterwards and it was, it was such a gift to me, and I and I think he might have felt the same way, um, to sit and just visit with somebody and be in their presence and enjoy the presence of a smart, capable, creative, thoughtful person. He's this young man. He's in his twenties. His name's Spike. Hi, Spike. If you happen to watch this, um, and 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 it was just a real gift to me, as, and, it, and I'm not sure he even knew exactly what it meant to me because yesterday I uh, my daughter is moving um, to Denver my I have one daughter already who lives the one that has a special needs child she lives in Denver with her husband and my um, two granddaughters and my other daughter who lives in currently lives in um, Fort Worth is now also moving to Denver so I will be here by myself with all of my children out of the state and well one out of the country and my grandchildren no longer here. And I've been feeling rather blue about that, <laughs> um, to be here. Um, and, and I'm considering the possibility of moving to Denver, but that won't happen for a while. So in the meantime, I will be here by myself. And so to have this young man come and share his energy with me, to me, was a gift of service. I mean, he was coming to help me out with my car, which was really sweet. But the most important thing that I got from him was the, the the service of his presence, his conversation, his uh, respect and his, um, his intellect and his creativity and just having someone to share and be with in, a, in, a, in that way. Um, all my friends, my friend Marcus Sanchez, who without fail calls me every week or two and we go out and do something together and what that means to me in terms of that's a service to me. It means a lot to me, uh, particularly at this time in my life when I have um, when I'm have, I'm have a lot of changes happening in my life. So to have that, um, hi Kimberly. Um, so to have people who are willing to step up and provide those services for you, the, the, the real trick is to recognize when you are also providing a service for them because we do tend to not recognize our own, what it is that we bring. So, so, so noticing when you are providing a, that service to someone else, but also noticing and being grateful for when those, that service is being provided to you. And, and I, I think the older I get, the more I really appreciate those gifts because they are uh, more rare than I would like to think they are. And, and because they are so rare, they, it makes them um, be like these little diamonds in my, in my life. So when you can provide that little diamond for someone or when someone provides that little diamond for you, take the time to fully appreciate it and, and let that person know, which I did with my friend. Um, I'm not sure I've said it often enough with, to my friend Margaret Sanchez, but regardless, um, these are ways in which we serve each other just with our presence, with our ability to be. The, the more you know, important thing in our life is that, that presence, that is the most important gift that we have to give. The, the service that we can give to others is our presence. It speaks far more than any gifts, which I kind of have a, um, a feeling about the holidays, which I, I still think giving gifts to children, I mean, you have to do that, right? It's what Santa and Christmas and that, that fun and excitement is all about. But, but when it comes to materialism and buying gifts for each other, the truth is, even kids would prefer to you give them an activity, give them something where they can um, experience your presence, serve them by giving them your presence in some way. Um, obviously getting them a book that you can read to them is one of those things where you're giving them an experience, but also, you know, take them, get them a ticket to go to the zoo with you or to a museum or, um, on a zip line event <laughs> or um, something like that, where you are actually giving them an experience and that experience is far more valuable than some little plastic toy that they're gonna forget where it came from in a month. So 
find ways to, to be of service to others in ways where your presence is what is um, given because your presence is the, is the gift that n nobody else can give. Only you can give that because that's you. So um, again, I'm gonna say one more little piece about the um, veterans event on Tuesday. Um, again, I will post below uh, the link to isfellowship.com and also to the, uh, the I'll post a little flyer about how to participate and if there's any way that you might want to participate at this later date, just there's still opportunities to sponsor. And if you have something that you would like to put in the gift bags, we would love to have you do that. So um, I just want to say thank you to those of you who find ways to be of service to others. I see that, you know, I, as, as some of you know, I'm, I do acting and I um, am also a sometimes producer and director. And, and I see it when I, I see a lot of times when I see people volunteering as um, PAs especially, they give their self so fully to the set, even though they're not, they, you know, they're going to get a small line credit. They're not going to, they're not going to probably earn any money off of it, but they give their, their enthusiastically serve the film. They enthusiastically serve the director. They enthusiastically serve the producers. And I just want to give a little shout out to the PAs of the world and the assistant directors and the sound guys and the boom operators and the cameramen who put so much effort into making films and they, they serve the, the art of filmmaking. And I, I have to say that most of the time, what you get back is not even close to what is matched with the energy that you give. So I, I do recognize the amount of service that you provide for us as filmmakers. So um, just want to add that in there too. Anyway, um, let me know if there's a way that maybe I can serve you. If there's a, if there's um, a topic that you would like for me to address. If there's a question that you have. If there's thoughts that you have about today's uh, Facebook Live or any others, please post them below, and I will um, try to keep track and see how I can respond. And if you have any questions about that event, um, I am looking for an a we are looking for an AV person who can provide um, the, the speakers and the microphones for the event. So if you are interested in, in sponsoring, um, being a sponsor or, and donating that um, for us, we really could use that help because we don't wanna take any of the money that we are collecting and not have it to give to the veterans organizations which we are raising funds for. We would much rather have those funds go to the um, to to the the veterans organizations we're, we're attempting to raise funds for. So, let me know if there's any interest in serving uh, the veterans in that way. So, thank you so much for being here today, and I hope to maybe bring you a little bit more um, of my normal talk <laughs> next week. I'll also be um, with the on the with the four at four on Thursday, and I will be back here at four o'clock on um, next Monday. I'm not sure what my topic will be, but I will talk to you then. Um, hi Ernie and Danny and everybody else. Thank you so much for being here today. Do let me know if there's any other topics you'd like for me to address and I will talk to you later. Bye.